When diagnosed with heart failure, you may have questions about what medications you will need to take. There are many medications available to treat heart failure depending on your individual needs. The heart failure guidelines recommend that people with heart failure be treated with four different medications. This combination of medications is known as guideline directed medical therapy. Using all four medications will help you live longer and experience a better quality of life. In this video, we will discuss the four pillars of heart failure medications and review common medications within the pillar, as well as the actions and side effects of each medication. The first type of medication is angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitors, or ARNI. Also in this class are ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, known as PRILs, or angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs. Common medications that are part of this drug class include Secubitril Valtsartan, also known as Entresto, which is an ARNI, Perindopril and Ramipril, both ACE inhibitors, Candesartan and Valsartan, which are both ARBs. These medications work by decreasing salt and water retention. They also open up blood vessels, which makes it easier for your heart to pump blood to the rest of your body. Some side effects to watch out for include low blood pressure, dizziness or lightheadedness, fatigue, or dry cough. Next, we will discuss beta blockers. Common types of beta blockers include bisoprolol, carvedilol, and metoprolol. Beta blockers work by blocking adrenaline so your heart does not have to work as hard or beat as fast. Some side effects to watch out for include low blood pressure or heart rate, dizziness or lightheadedness, fatigue or low energy. It is important to know that most people feel tired when first starting this medication. This is normal. Your energy will increase when your body gets used to the medicine. Do not stop this medication suddenly unless your healthcare provider tells you to. If you stop it suddenly, your heart rate may increase. Our third group of medications are MRAs. Common medications in this drug class include aplerinone or spironolactone. These medications work by blocking the stress hormones that make the heart stiff and cause scarring. Some side effects to watch out for include risk of high potassium levels, dizziness or lightheadedness, increased urination, dehydration, swelling or tenderness of your breasts, which is more common in men. The last group of medications we will be discussing in this video is SGLT2 inhibitors. Common medications in this drug class include dapagliflozin, also known as Forziga, and empagliflozin, also known as Jardians. SGLT2 inhibitors work in your body by decreasing the amount of stress on your heart. Some side effects to watch out for include genital yeast infection or bladder infection. To reduce the risk of this occurring, please pay close attention to personal hygiene. This medication is also used to treat diabetes. If you are on other diabetic medications, you should discuss with your physician the possibility of adjusting them while taking this medication. If you have diabetes and are also taking an SGLT2 inhibitor for heart failure, you may need to hold your medication if you are unwell for other reasons. Please speak to your healthcare provider for more details. When taking medications for heart failure, you can expect to go for routine blood work to ensure your kidney function and your electrolytes are within safe limits. Additionally, it is important to take these medications together because each of them work in a unique way and they work best when used together. On average, each of these medications adds an extra one to two years of life. We understand this is a lot of information to take in all at once. However, 
Educating yourself about your medications you are taking for your heart failure increases your ability to manage your condition. Please watch this video back as many times as you need. Furthermore, to help you manage your heart failure, you can also check out the other informational videos that are a part of this series.